Hello, my students. Welcome to the third lecture in the teaching path of city management and policy. Uh, this time I am developing on the case which I sort of signaled in my last video lecture, the case of Cineworld. Uh, I will start by just reminding you the context and then I will go into the specific development. Uh, let's say that the teaching context of that case is to give you a possible topic for your graduation projects in this course of city management and policy. So, let's waltz. I am getting smaller and I am getting to the next slide. So, first of all, the reminder of the context. Uh, Cineworld is a chain of cinema theatres, uh, a global chain. Uh, mostly present in Europe and in the United States and uh, recently they announced that in response to an increasingly challenging theatrical landscape and sustained key market closures due to the COVID-19 pandemic, Cineworld confirms that it will be temporarily suspending operations at all of its 50, of, of 536 regal theatres in the United States and its 127 scene world and picture house theatres in the United Kingdom from Thursday 8th October 2020. In the slide uh, you can have you can find the links both to the general investors relations site of Cineworld and uh, below you can find the link to this specific statement published by the company. Just a reminder, in the description box below the video, you can find a link to the PowerPoint presentation, which I am using in the video, and where you can find all those useful links. So, from the point of view of city management, we ask ourselves what will happen to neighborhoods where those cinemas are closing up. Uh, the picture that you can see here in the slide is the picture of the neighborhood just next to one of those cinemas that have just, just shut down to the Clapham Picture House uh, located in 76 Venn Street in London, in Clapham Town. And uh, the essential uh, the essential concept here is that when those cinemas close, it causes something that we call a ripple effect on local economies. Let me go to the next slide to explain the concept of ripple effect. So there are people who work in those cinemas, so the, uh, there are jobs that disappear with the closure of those cinemas. There are local businesses which supply to that cinema goods or services like transportation, catering, food and drinks for sale. Probably you know that in the cinema business uh, you earn the most money or you used to earn the most money by selling food and drinks, sometimes by selling some merch and not by selling tickets. Now, so now you have like a ripple going through those local economies around those 127 cinemas being closed across the United Kingdom. And if you want to understand better that effect of ripple, you can go, for example, to my two lectures in the Fundamentals of Economics. In the slide you have links to YouTube with those videos to give you like the like a, a revision of the most fundamental economic principles which accompany this case. And now we will adopt the line of thinking which I proposed you to adopt in my first lecture. So I will propose you to think about this case as an opportunity for creating and developing a business concept in the lines of a real estate investment trust. Uh, go to the first lecture, uh, to the first video lecture, to revise on the concept of real estate investment trust. 
Uh, now we go through the, like the main points of this particular development. So as the cinemas shut down, buildings stay. So they, those places, those physical places are still there. And they represent essentially fixed assets which need or could do with some kind of productive employment. So now imagine that you figure out a big business deal. You go to those senior world people and you tell them, look, here is the deal. We propose you to give us to that to give us so to give to that real estate investment trust we represent some kind of control over those places where the cinemas are located because we can do a b c with those places so you can figure out a real estate investment trust whose purpose would be to find an economically viable business concept for utilizing those premises left temporarily or permanently empty and non-working after the cine world's cinemas close up. Uh, once again, look up the whole list of theaters being shut down at cine world. Uh, he, uh, in the slide you have the link. And then take the a position mentioned in the uh, on the question mentioned in the following slide, no slides. You can see that I am correcting my work as I am delivering the video lecture. Uh, okay, so now we have that thing. I will magnify it a little bit. So now I ask you to ask yourselves the following question. What potential for economic gains does the real estate of those theaters represent? Once again, in order to understand it, go through that link or, or through that sub site in the link or under the link shown in the last slide. Go through that list of cinemas, use Google Maps or something else to figure out what kind of real estate is that, what kind of places and neighborhoods are these. And try to figure out the potential for economic gains that those, real, that those pieces of real estate represent. And try to go through the following questions. As those places are being left unused, how can you possibly market those places for commercial rental or lease? How can you use them under this angle? Under a different point of view, do you think it would be economically profitable to remake those places like completely, renovate them radically or raise the existing structures down and build something completely new instead? And try to think like about uh, a deal that you can propose to Cine World for using those like uh, left alone uh, cinema theaters. In the process of doing that, you can use my course of business planning. Here is the link uh, in the slide just to give you some ideas how to figure out a business plan. Okay, that would be all in that uh, video lecture on the case of Cine World. I hope it will be useful for your projects and as usually have fun with science and have fun with life. Bye.